Hi kids, Dave DeCoston here. This is the same uh, little lathe that I built about, put on YouTube about three years ago, something like that. But I've had a nice feature to it. I added milling to it. So I'm going to make the nuts for an ER16 collet. It's got a hex on it. And rather than have a, a, a clip that you snap in place, I want to machine the, the uh, pullout. Uh, flange in place. So we'll just go up here and we'll hit start and we'll see if it takes off. Ready to go. First we'll start out to throw a half inch hole and about 1 inch 25 deep. We got a 3 inch feed rate down there and a peck about 125 or 8 inch. This little machine has not given me one bit of problem. You see, I have two spindles. I have this uh, spindle here to draw holes in the OD, and then I have this little spindle down here uh, for doing milling on the OD. It uh, really works nice. And then, of course, the spindle is programmable now, so uh, it's the B axis. And it works very good. Very accurate. I was surprised how accurate it is. So we're boring a hole with the thread. And uh, that'll come in a few minutes. This one programmed is about five, in, 5 minutes and 35 seconds. So just sit back and relax and enjoy it. The new machines I've made, I've changed the sheet metal quite a bit. and. Uh, Everything has got a cabinet enclosed in the back for the electronic, and it's really a nice package. And it has two inches more uh, Z travel. I need that more Z travel because of the mill spindles, uh, it's hard to get them in position, too close to the end of the part. Now we're turning the OD of the, of the hex down and turning uh, the diameter behind the head. This is the part here. Where are we? There's the hex. And then down in here, you, I don't know if you can see it, but there is the uh, mill out for the uh, where the collet hooks in there. There, of course, the thread. That's a nice fit. That's really a good little machine. What it's doing now, it's uh, machining the angle behind that flange where the collet uh, nose pushes off. And after it's done, I'll get them case hard. I've read articles where there's guys that make these things out of tungsten carbide, which is ridiculous, you know. I don't know what the hell they're thinking of, you know. Doesn't make sense to me. The old case hard. Four roll steel, you can't beat that. You can see the, the threading now is a lot faster on this uh, uh, newer software. That one night where I made the pulse, that boy it was slow. But the flash cut got with the program and straightened it out. We're taking one and a half thousandths deep pass each time, and then we take one spring pass at the end. It's a beautiful thread. It does the thread like you are using a compound going down the side. It's not forming the thread. It's going down the 60 degree angle there. And the thread is only cutting on one side. Here comes the milling. Now you can see here, let's do mill.
Let's see what's going on. Oh, now we're going to work on just to do a quick pass and get the birds off. I think I need to do that. Try to pass it off the bird. Keep on it. Let's get some of these up around there. And we get the cutoff. So I do not need to do 21 seconds to go. And uh, we cut her off. Yeah, I got an automatic arm. Here it comes again. See, here it comes. Yep, yep. There it is. All right. There. Uh, there we are. Collet nut for ER 16 tool holder. Collet nut for ER 16 tool holder. All right, anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, happy machining. So long.